In this video series we're taking a look at matrices and in part two we're going to focus on some basic mathematical operations that can be performed using matrices. So the first thing then is just a simple equation. So if we've got this matrix here, 3 by 2, of A, B, C, D, E, F as the elements equals uh, this second matrix, um, and again in rows and columns it's the same size, it's three rows, two columns, and then we've got the entries 3, 1, 7, 14, 8 and 6. That just means that A equals 3, B equals 1, uh, and so on. So it's just a really simple uh, equation. So the, the entries in the first matrix equate to the entries in the second matrix. Now in order to do this, the two matrices must be the same size. Um, in terms of addition then, we can add up two matrices if they're the same size. And what we simply do is we, we add up the, the elements that are in the same position. So for the first one, it's just A plus G. Um, and then it's B plus H, C plus I, D plus J, and so on. So we're just taking the, the first element here in, in column one, row one, and adding it to the element that's in column one, row one over here. And that then provides us with the entry for our answer matrix. So again, they must be of the same size in order to add them together. Subtraction works in a similar way. So we can subtract uh, one matrix from another if, um, if they're the same size. Um, and again, we, we just work out uh, for each position. So for the first position here, row one, column one, it's just A, take away G, and, and so on. So that's fairly straightforward. And again, uh, as I've mentioned, they need to be the same size in order to subtract them. We can also multiply a matrix by a scalar. So for example, here we've got 5 times by this matrix, uh, which is uh, 3 rows, 2 columns, and the entries are just multiplied up by the scalar value. And so 5 times A just goes to 5A, 5B, 5C, and so, and, and so on, and so we've multiplied all of those up. So again, fairly straightforward in terms of how we do that. And the, the answer matrix is the same size as that initial matrix. It's just that we've multiplied all the entries by this value outside. OK, so that's been a short video to look at some of the basic mathematical operations that we can perform with matrices. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks very much for watching.